Welcome to Linda's Home Kitchen. Today we are making an easier version of an old Italian classic. We are making a one pot lasagna. In this video we give you step by step instructions how to turn a few simple ingredients into this wonderful dish. Enjoy and let's cook. First we start removing the skin from these sausages. We have five of those or about one pound. These are Italian sausages. I wonder why they're called Italian sausages. That's an odd name. As if this is the only kind of sausage Italians make. It's like the equivalent of calling brats German wursts. I honestly don't know why they're called Italian sausages. If any of you know why they're called Italian sausages, please let us know in the comments below. Anyways, in Italy they're called salsiccia and it's made with ground pork and often seasoned with fennel. You often see them used in Italian restaurants, especially on pizzas or pasta sauces. Next, we're gonna dice one onion. The easiest way to do that is to just cut the onion in half and then you make a couple horizontal slices and a couple vertical slices. And now when you dice it, you can see that the pieces are nice and uniform. Next, we need three cloves of garlic. Before we dice them, we crush them. It makes it easy to work with the garlic and it also helps to activate the flavor in the garlic more quickly, which means the garlic becomes fragrant faster once you toss it in the pan. One of the most important ingredients in a lasagna is obviously the cheese. In this recipe we use mozzarella cheese, ricotta cheese and parmesan cheese. Make sure you use good quality cheese because your taste buds will thank you later. To prepare the mozzarella we shred about one cup or half a pound of mozzarella cheese. So now we can get started with the cooking. We pour a little olive oil in our Dutch oven over medium heat and then we add our diced onions and let them cook a little bit until they are slightly brown. After a few minutes we add our garlic and our red pepper flakes. We add the garlic always a little later because garlic cooks much faster than onions. The garlic should become fragrant after about 20 seconds and now we can add our sausages. Simply use a wooden spoon or a wooden spatula to break apart the sausage and then stir it well to combine the onions, the garlic and the sausages. And then you want to cook everything until the sausages are fully cooked. Next we add 24 ounces of marinara sauce. In this recipe we use store-bought marinara sauce because this recipe is all about saving time. So store-bought sauce in a jar is perfectly fine. Next you add a cup of water and stir it. And now you can add your seasoning. We use one tablespoon of standard Italian seasoning and one teaspoon of oregano. And now we stir it again before we add our lasagna pasta. For this recipe we use 10 sheets of lasagna noodles. And very important, do not use the no-boil noodles. I know that can be very practical and time-saving, but in this scenario they wouldn't work. You're using the noodles that you are supposed to cook before you use them, usually in boiling water. However, for this recipe that's not necessary because there's enough water and liquids in the pot already. So simply break apart the lasagna noodles in about 3 inch pieces and place them around the pot. And then you want to stir until all the noodles are coated with the sauce. Now you want to cover the pot with a lid and let it cook for approximately 20 minutes on a low simmer. And every few minutes you want to take the lid off, stir it a little bit and then put the lid back on. So now it's time to add the three different cheeses. First we add one cup of ricotta cheese. We just use a spoon to evenly distribute the cheese across the pot which is very important because from now on we are not going to stir the pot anymore. Now we add the mozzarella cheese. It's much easier to distribute the mozzarella cheese because we can just use our hands to sprinkle it on top. And last but not least we add a quarter cup of parmesan cheese. I highly recommend to use real parmigiano reggiano cheese if you have it because the parmesan cheese in a jar that you can buy supermarket is just a poor imitation. So now we put the lid back on and let it cook for a couple more minutes to let the cheese melt. And in the meantime we're going to prepare our basil. We always keep fresh basil at home and we just chop a small handful of the basil which we can sprinkle over the lasagna 
any later. So let's take the pot off the stove. And as you can see, the cheese melted really nicely. It looks really yummy. I can't wait to try it. And now we sprinkle our basil on top of the lasagna because presentation matters too. So and now we are ready to serve it. We use a ladle to scoop the lasagna into a bowl. Put a couple basil leaves on top for looks. And now we get to enjoy this wonderful no-bake or one-pot lasagna. I hope you enjoy this recipe. We kindly ask to leave us a like or subscribe to the channel. That would be really helpful for a small channel like us. If you enjoy Italian pork-based recipes, check out the next video, Pork Sugo, another excellent one-pot Italian meal. Thanks for watching. Yours truly, Linda and Stefan.